How's it going guys? So uh, today we're gonna do a quick overview or a quick comparison between the Blackland Vector by Blackland Razors and the Paradigm Single Edge Razor by Paradigm Shapewear. So I did a recently a quick uh, video on this one when I just got it. Um, I love both honestly. You probably couldn't ask me to get rid of either one but I'll go over the pros and cons real quick. So, I mean, clear off the bat. Oh yeah, what's interesting about these is they both weigh exactly 80 grams, if I'm correct. Um, so I thought I'd do a comparison. They're both single edges, you know, very wide heads, very efficient. Um, yeah, this one just feels so nimble. That's the first thing I think of when I look at this. Very nimble, light, thin. I mean, you can see how small the head is. Very maneuverable. Uh, yeah, look at that difference. So, yeah. So if you're someone that's into that, then this might be the winner for you. But I'll go into the advantage of this one in a second. We'll just take this apart real quick. So as you, as you can see, the threading. A very unique design by uh, Shane over at Blacklin Razors. He's simply a genius for coming up with this. So like, um, if you look at traditional single edge razor heads, they have a circular hole and that makes the head and the result that makes the head a lot bigger and he was able to come up with something so innovative like this um in terms of durability not sure how durable it is you just got to be a little bit careful it is stainless steel um this one's titanium i forgot to mention but uh as you can see you got a standard handle and this will actually work with some other handles uh but i found that this one just fits the best um i used to have trouble loading this Oops. Yeah, now you can understand why, right? Uh, nah, I'm just kidding. Here you go. So yeah, you just drop the blade in here. And then you look at the bottom. Just look at the holes, line it up. Yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. You know, this went away from me. And then you just kind of make sure there's no give back on the threads. And then you can kind of tighten it. Don't over torque it. There you go. Um, so this is medium aggressive. I'd put this at like a five out of 10. Yeah, five or six out of 10. It's still very smooth, very efficient. This one, I would say uh, three or four, five or six, three or four. Um, this one's definitely smoother in my opinion, but not as efficient. But this can be mitigated with uh, putting a blade in with more exposure like the Feather Professional Super Blade. Uh, so that has oh, actually a wider blade which uh, you know pushes the blade out more towards the end which allows more blade to be exposed allows it to cut more efficiently. So if you were to put a Feather Super in here versus like a Professional in here um, I'd say they'd be around the same efficiency you know they'll, you know, they'll cut off hair but I found this to be uh, more smooth, you know, against the grain, but like if I were to put a super in here, it might be too aggressive. Uh, but this is all personal personal preference. Um, but you know, this is still incredibly smooth. It's like, you know, we're, li we're literally nitpicking at this point. But for the sake of comparison, we're gonna, or opinion at least, we'll, we'll throw that. And then I show you, I showed you guys how to load this before, but I'll show it again. So. Take that, take it out. Pretty easy, pretty easy on both, honestly. Um, yeah, so it's kind of weird because this is such a, like, this is so much bigger, but they weigh the same. Um, so if you like, you know, the nimbleness, and this is more readily available. Um, if, like, in my opinion, if, based on availability, and maneuverability of the head, um, like you could probably call this the king of SEs. Just you know, it, it's mass produced, not mass produced. It's made by an artisan, but you know what I'm saying. Like y you can easily get it. This is like only a few are made, so it's not like I can recommend this. Um, you know, like is this worth you know double? It at that point, and it depends on the user. You know, um, they'll both you know do a fantastic job, but you know, like versus the Razor uh, Razor Raw Cock V3. I would take this uh, over that, but it's also, you know, uh, 
I want to say like almost double the price. So you know you gotta you gotta take all these things into consideration. But uh, you know both both fantastic uh, razors. I kind of wish that I got the polished version because it's like it's literally a beauty. I believe that one retails for uh, two forty, and this is uh, one ninety five. And uh, yeah. But um, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I could try to answer them for you, um, you know. But that pretty much covers it. Uh, so, all right. You guys have a good one. And take care.